For number 31, is just a vision. No parentheses, so we don't have to multiply any of the exponents. We'll just subtract them. But we'll separate this, all right? So we got 5 over 15, x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 5, y to the power of 10 over y squared. So 5 divided by 15 is 1 third. This would be x to the power of 2 minus 5. And this would be y to the power of 10 minus 2. So we still have the 1 third, x to the power of negative 3 and y to the power of 8, but we can't have any negative exponents, so we'll change this just a little bit. Uh, we've got 1 third, that would be 1 over x cubed, and then y to the power of 8. You could make it over 1 just so you could multiply the fractions. Then 1 times 1 times y to the power of 8 is y to the power of 8 over 3 times x cubed. So this is what your final answer should look like. The only reason I did uh, divide it by 1 right here is because then some of you guys know to multiply fractions this way. It's not necessary that you put that there, though. So if you wanted to, you could just get rid of it. Yeah. Now some of you guys hopefully realize that in this problem there are more x's in the denominator so that's where the x's will be in the end anyways especially since we're using positive exponents